thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers we hit it a few weeks ago it's just a really fun milestone to hit I'm so very grateful to everyone that watches my videos uh, that's 5,000 people is a lot of people I'm hoping that we can maybe get to 10,000 this year I promise you guys I'm like I feel like I just posted yesterday and then I look at when the last time I posted a video and it was like three weeks ago and I'm like how is time going by so fast I'm just adjusting to life with my new baby and then I get into a nice little routine and then he goes through a change and then I have to get like a whole other routine going but that's just mom life my goal is to post a video a week as often as I can. I think, yeah, my postpartum hair loss, my hairbrush is really dirty. My postpartum hair loss has begun, if you guys can tell. If you don't know, around three, four months postpartum, you start losing your hair. A lot of it is just from the hair that you weren't losing during pregnancy. Because when you're pregnant, you go through three when you're pregnant when you everyone just has three phases of hair growth and one of those hair growths is hair phases is when your hair is falling out and when you're pregnant that phase stops that's why your hair gets all thick during pregnancy after you're not pregnant that phase begins so a lot of it is just that hair that wasn't falling out for 10 months starts falling out you do also get a little extra hair loss so I feel like here I've maybe lost a little bit more. That's alright. Nothing little rosemary oil can't fix. Today I want to do some Pilates, which I feel like I can do it right now. But I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> so I might risk it and wait and do it later. No, I should do it now. But what I'm currently doing is putting some glycolic acid on my scalp. This one's from The Ordinary. I've been having a lot of dry scalp, I think from the winter weather here. I found that this has been really helping. The glycolic acid does a gentle exfoliation on your scalp. I try to do this once a week and after about a month is when I think I saw the most improvement because before my scalp would just get really flaky right away. After I used it for the four weeks or so, I noticed that I could go like an extra day or something without washing my hair because and you want to leave it in for like about 10 minutes. Sometimes I'll put it in right before I'm about to shower because I figure it's better to get it on than not at all. And then other times, like today, I know I'm about to work out and get sweaty. And so I'll leave it in for a little longer than 10 minutes. I don't know. My scalp can handle it. I don't know if that might be too long for some people. But for me, it's been fine. This has been one of my favorite little beauty tips lately. Especially as a new mom. I feel like you don't. I feel like, and I know other moms feel like we don't have a lot of time for ourselves. This has been really nice. I just put it on in the morning and then at nighttime too. It's an eyelash serum. And I haven't noticed too much of a difference. I feel like I've just started to tell a little bit. So I decided not to do the Pilates live streams because most of you were saying that you were going to watch it later like after if you couldn't catch the live stream and I was more so just wanting to do it for like accountability with everyone and I didn't want to leave the live stream live on my channel because like I don't think a video of me struggling to do Pilates should be on the internet forever <laughs> so I decided not to do it but Maybe I'll figure out a different thing I could do on live streams. Sorry, my kitchen's a mess, you guys. Normally I would clean up a little bit before I started filming. Before I became a mom, I would be like, oh, I would never use 
the microwave. <laughs> Because when you don't have kids, you just have all the time in the world. Of course I can heat up my food, not in the microwave, in one minute. Maybe I'd put this in the oven for 10 minutes before I eat it, but no. Right now, I just need to have it heated up immediately. And this is the croissant. Let me tell you guys, if you're an expecting mom, or you're going to have kids in the future, I don't know if I've said this already, but on here but I would prepare for breastfeeding if you're planning on breastfeeding because I prepared so much for labor which I mean you want to prepare for that too but nothing really can prepare you for labor you know it was over after like 10 hours but you're gonna be breastfeeding 24 7 and I f and my midwife's told me read this book on, on breastfeeding and I only listened to like half of it but I feel like they tried to prepare me and I didn't listen. And there's so many things I didn't know about breastfeeding. And also get some silverettes, like silver nipple covers. Sister-in-law warned me, so I'll tell you guys this too. The first month is so hard breastfeeding. You're going to want to quit all the time. But you just have to push through that first month. And it just gets so much easier. For me, it was two months. After like two months of breastfeeding, it finally clicked. Maybe even a little longer just because if you guys didn't watch my birth and labor story I had like some complications postpartum and had to take antibiotics and whatnot so that kind of like messed with my milk supply and it was just it made it a little difficult oh I know why I feel like I already told you guys because I filmed a get ready with me a couple weeks ago but when I went to go edit the footage I had my mic turned the other way for something else I had been filming and I didn't turn it back I didn't notice so the audio was just kind of weird and echoey like you could still hear the audio but it just wasn't good so I had to had to like scrap all that footage and I never got to refilm it he's looking at the camera like what the heck is this <laughs> okay you guys <laughs> I don't even want to tell you guys. I really don't. <laughs> because of all the poop I've talked about this before. Okay? But I have to tell you. I have to tell you. I made a TikTok account again. I know. I know. I've, I'm always talking about how I don't like short form content. Blah, 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 blah. But the short form content has been a little easier to film because I can just quickly film on my phone while I'm taking care of my baby and then I can edit it while I'm nap trapped here on this couch on this little that's not a couch what is this a chair nursing chair a glider when he nap traps me and he just wants to sleep right here and I can't get up I have the footage on my phone I don't have to get my laptop you know, like, my laptop's over there right now. If he fell asleep I want to edit, the, edit this video, I have to get up and get that laptop. He's awake. He's going to start crying. And then we have to restart again. So, I have learned my style, I think, on short form content, which is what I was struggling with the most. The other part of it is I just don't watch that much of the short form content. <laughs> because that was, like, my main issue with it was that, like, I wasn't really enjoying watching the short form content so I didn't enjoy making it because I like to watch long form videos so I like to make long form videos but I figured out my little style and then I just don't really watch that much short form content. They say on TikTok that you should kind of engage with some of the videos before you post to kind of help boost your views and I maybe noticed that a little bit so I do that for a little bit like if I know I'm going to post a video I'll like engage with some videos for like 10 minutes and then post it uh oh i might have to go anyway that's been my solution which was nice and i grew it to a thousand followers so i thought okay when i get a significant amount of followers i'll tell you guys about it because then i won't just like delete it again like i've done before so i don't think i'm gonna delete this one i think i'm gonna just <laughs> write it out yeah you guys can follow me on there it's jasmine klein and yeah i mean i post most of them on shorts anyway so 
you're not really missing out on much. The reason I did that was because I just really want to grow my social media. Like I really do and I feel like you kind of have to do short form content now. It's not like the big YouTubers that can just like get away with not doing it. But like if you're growing I feel like you kind of have to do it now because it's like clearly not going anywhere. So I just gave in and admitted to myself that I actually do want to grow my social media because there's kind of like this weird like oh I don't really care if I grow or not. You know like people used to say like oh, I'm just doing it for fun and that. But the thing is is that people used to be able to say that because you, <laughs> you didn't make money from making YouTube videos. So of course they were just doing it for fun because everyone was doing it for fun because there was no money in it. But now you can make money on it. And I feel like I want it to be like authentic and be like, oh, I am just doing it for fun, which obviously I like making videos or I wouldn't continue to do it for years. So, and it just feels so weird with like when I haven't done one, it's so much fun for me, but like it is fun, right? But, but I do want to make money from it. <laughs> and I feel like I was trying to be like, oh, I just, it's just a hobby. It's just for fun, but no, 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 actually, it is that, but it's also because I want to make some money. I'd love to have some merch. I'd love to design some merch and like come out with it. Like a per season or something, but like cool merch, not just like basic merch or something. I don't know. I would just love to do that, but I need to have a bigger following to be able to do that. And I just like, I need to admit that to myself and really get to it. So anyway, I gave in to my short form content. I'm posting on TikTok, I'm posting them on shorts, and I feel good about it. I feel good about it. Before, I didn't feel good about it, so that's the main difference, I think, is I feel good about it now. Follow me on there, you guys. I'll link it in the description. Like, I tried to do Pilates, but... The baby just wanted to take a nap in his wrap, so it's actually quite a couple hours later. So I think after he wakes up and eats, then that's going to be my chance. I wanted to talk to you guys about the winter here in Idaho. You guys know I moved from Arizona to Idaho, and the climate is just so different. I was actually really excited for the colder weather, which I love the colder weather weather I just wasn't expecting to be so affected by the lack of sun during the winter which I took for granted uh, in Arizona because it's always sunny there even during the winter time I can't complain because this winter has actually been very mild I just wish there was more Sun so I feel like I'm gonna come back to life in the springtime but I have been struggling with though is that I was hoping I would have lost weight by now so I could fit into my old clothes, but that hasn't been the case. So I caved and I got a gift card, a very generous gift card for my in-laws for Christmas. And I ordered some things from Abercrombie and I just ordered the sizes that fit me now. So I thought, <clears throat> well, I don't want to spend like all that money on new clothes. And then if I do end up losing weight and fit into my old clothes, like I'm going to have this bigger clothes. But my husband was like, well, you're going to have, God willing, you know, more pregnancies. So it's not like the clothes is going to go to waste. I'll just save it again for next time. So that was the thing that made me finally be like, okay, I'm going to order my new sizes. It's nice to have clothes that fits me and that I feel good in. So that's been nice. I will say that I wish I have already lost some more weight, but I haven't really lost any since the initial weight loss, which I did talk to you guys about this like in a different video about comparison, which literally every YouTuber I watch, which is several YouTubers, probably like 10, lost all the weight that they gained in their pregnancy by like three months. So, I don't know, it just makes me not feel the greatest. Like, I can't help but compare, because it's like, if it was just one of them or something, like, okay, maybe it's just them. But 
it's like every single youtuber i watch has lost the weight by three months so that does not make me feel really good honestly <laughs> yeah i don't know i just i really it makes me feel really bad honestly you guys it's so hard to not compare um but i'm just doing my best and I'm trying to do something about it and I think that's like all I can do. I'm not going to just like sit and have a pity party and not try. At least I'm trying to get back into shape. Some girls gain weight and I feel like they look good. And I just feel like I'm not one of those girls. I feel like I feel I look the best when I'm just like my regular size. I don't know. So that's been really hard, which oh, leads me to a question I got. I was going to do like a stay at home mom Q&A and I remembered getting a lot more questions on my last stay at home wife video, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I'm like, where was I hallucinating these questions? I don't know where I saw them or maybe people sent me like DMs. I don't know. So I'm not going to do that one anymore because I couldn't find the questions, but I did get one from my community post and someone asked me what the hardest part is what the hardest thing about your new life change being a parent so far and what would you say your husband's is and i think i haven't asked him but i think the hardest one for both of us is the same thing which is that we don't sleep in the same bed right now and like i literally can cry i'll cry right now <laughs> every single night when he, we like go into the baby room and me and the baby co-sleep and he like prays with us and everything before we go to bed and I like get so sad <laughs> I'm getting sad right now that is the hardest part because I don't know I just like miss sleeping with him I got like a little rail where you can put on the bed so I think you can I'll put that up and we can start trying to sleep all together I also just like like sleeping over there because sometimes the baby like cries at night or is up a lot and my husband's such a light sleeper. He would prefer if we all slept together <laughs> even if he got the lack of sleep but I just feel like if he's going to go off to work every day like I just rather him be well rested especially when it was snowy and icy on the road like I just worry so much about him driving. So I don't know I just rather... I just feel better like knowing he's getting good sleep like why do we both have to have lack of sleep you know I'm on the struggle train a little bit <laughs> I'm just looking forward to the spring I feel like the springtime is just gonna make everything better I'll be able to go on a lot more walks hard to film and not show the baby which sometimes I think like am I is it really that big of a deal um but I also do want to show them to you guys not like I think I'm like all famous and whatnot that's not it oh sorry my washer is going right now it's probably so loud it's not that it's just that when you put something on the internet you just don't know like who's gonna see it I want to show you guys my girly friends yes so much but i can't like guarantee that only you are gonna see it it's just something i'm really passionate about i don't even really like sending photos of him because then you're like oh i sent the then you hear like oh i sent the photo to so and so and this and that and i oh my gosh i just i don't like it because you don't know who, like who has access to that other person's phone and it's just so I don't know it really stresses me out I know it shouldn't be that big of a deal at least the pictures to the family thing <laughs> um, but I'm still really careful even with that anyway so I'm making my third cup of coffee for the day I was drinking black coffee for a while but during my pregnancy I would get a lot of like it would just be like really acidic in my stomach so I started using creamer. So many like random ingredients in creamer. 
flavored creamer, and I also like after you two or three coffees, I'm like this kind of doesn't taste good. So I've just gone back to like cream and sugar in my coffee, the classics. I really want to start getting ready for the day, even if I'm just going to be home. But sometimes it feels so like, what's the point? Because I'm just home all day. <laughs> I'm so excited to move. Our lease is up in May. And I look at houses like every day, even though I can't move yet. I'm like, oh, I wish this house was available when we move. Or I guess I could just get ready to go on the walk down like the road from my house. I don't know. Oh my gosh, the washer's so loud, you guys. I'm so sorry. What I need to do is start listening to some like motivational stuff again. Because when I had my whole like spiritual thing last year and a half or so, where I stopped listening and practicing the new age things and I really and I you know gave my life to Christ and I really became like a devout is that the right word Christian I was like I just had to drop everything let you know I just stopped listening to all like self-help and motivation and I don't think self-help is bad like self-help isn't directly tied to the new age but I was just so vulnerable I feel like that first year that I didn't want to do anything to possibly pull me down back into that or like make me doubt my decision which I don't think anything could have because it was such a strong conviction but I just wanted to be extra careful and really protect myself and like protect my mind so I stopped listening to like anything and everything self-help motivational because it's just it's such a slippery slope into the new age but I think now I'm so much more grounded in my Christianity and my Christian faith that I feel like I can listen to motivational stuff and kind of get like that fire back in me to do things because the whole reason I got into the new age was the first with self-help and like I said that's not a bad thing so I think I'm going to start doing that. I know I found like a few Christian self-help books that are like based off Christianity and they talk like you know reference the Bible and all that stuff so I think that's like a good place for me to start because I just really thrive when I'm listening to motivational stuff like that it really makes me like want to be my best self and right now I think like getting ready and getting dressed is gonna be my best version of myself so hot in here you get really hot when I'm baby wearing <laughs> Um, me and him just both get super hot. Oh, he's not liking having his head. He like outgrew this. He doesn't like to have his head tucked in there anymore. He's such a big boy. Oh my gosh, having a baby is like... I don't know how to describe it. It's just the most amazing thing. The most important things you can do as a mom is make sure you pick a good dad for your kids. And not to to my own horn, but I feel like I just... He has the best dad and he, my husband has really like, oh, I don't know, I just couldn't have gotten through the first few months of postpartum without him and he's been so helpful and just so loving and nurturing. Um, and he's always been, even before I was pregnant, but just even more. And I think that makes the biggest difference of wanting to have more kids, honestly. And I think Gunner just got home, so I'm going to stop this clip right now. hours later 
I Gunner came home for lunch, so while he was here, I finished my Pilates that I was trying to do earlier. And I took a shower. So I'm hoping my hair will dry in time before bed. Otherwise, I'll have to use my Dyson. The Curl Smith Air Dry Cream. I always use this. Now I'm sinking my new Oreo Bear. I forgot. I got this little matching set pajama thing. For postpartum, I literally never wore it. <laughs> I, Because a lot of the girls said to get button up PJs for like the hospital or in my case the birth center and then for home for nursing but I just most of the time just don't have a shirt on because it's just easier if I close the door Petra's gonna want to come in if it's open she won't want to be in here <sighs> I wasn't gonna film today because I have a cold sore and it's like not healing but I decided to anyway Okay, so Forio did send me this bear. Um, I actually got it gifted to me as like a, they sent it to me when I had my son. They also sent him like a little toothbrush, like a little baby toothbrush, which is so cute. But, oh no, I might have to. <gasps> Buddy boy. So if you haven't seen the app before, you just add device. You choose your device. So for me, I'm gonna do the bear series and press and hold the power button on your Foreo device so here see Petra's at the door what did I tell you guys <laughs> Come on. I do have the bear one like <laughs> this is the bear one the spare two if you have a bear already I don't think you need the new one but there is some new features. Uh, the main feature, I think, is that there's four types of microcurrent in here. The first one only has the one microcurrent. Uh, microcurrent devices have been out for a while now, so they probably just developed a new kind. And you can look on the website. I'll link it. They're the different types. And I already have a review on the bear. And that one I purchased myself, like, with my own money. That's why I feel comfortable doing this video and telling you guys about the discount code without trying it first. Well, I'm going to try it with you guys on camera. Because I know I already like the Foreo, the first one, so it could only get better. So this is the Serum Serum Serum. I have a discount code. It's Jasmine30, so you get 30% off the entire website. Um, it's not going to work on anything that's already on sale, but you can use that code Jasmine30 on the Foreo website all the month, the whole month of February. I just did a few pumps. You can follow the little guides that it comes with on the app. That's the nice thing about the app. But since I've already used this device, I, I kind of know what to do and I know what I like. Okay, right off the bat I don't know if maybe my first one doesn't work as well but this I can feel my muscles twitching which is really nice but I can already tell this one is the microcurrent in here is definitely a lot stronger like oh my gosh <laughs> oh I can feel that all in my forehead so the microcurrent basically just oh my gosh that's so strong that gives you um, lymphatic drainage and the current oh my god that's so powerful sorry I'm distracted okay so the current works out your muscles that's why I'm like when I'm telling you that you can I can feel it twitching it works out your muscles over time that kind of helps your face look more sculpted helps with wrinkles tried it for seven days straight on my Foreo one review so I'll link that in the description so you guys can go see that and you can compare it because I did not have this reaction when I was trying that this one's so much stronger but that one's still effective if you have the first one don't feel like you need to buy the second one and these will last you forever so like once you have one 
you're good. But oh my gosh. Wow, this is so much stronger. I have to go. My camera's about to die. And the baby is, gonna, is <laughs> wanting my attention. So don't forget that we have the discount code until February. Jasmine30. I'm probably going to post it a lot on shorts just to remind you guys. Because I think it's a really great discount code. And thanks to Foreo for sending this to me. Also, thank you guys for watching this <laughs> video. And I will be back with an another video very soon. When we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all oh, the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life